me, what made you want to get into coaching uh, with the XFL and, and now? Well, I've always wanted to get into coaching. You know, to have an opportunity to be a head coach. I'm, I'm very humble at that opportunity, but just an opportunity to work with with, with Dwayne Johnson and and the Miss Boss Lady Danny Garcia, and of course teaming up with uh, Redbird Capital. Uh, it's just a great opportunity uh, to be among some of these other head coaches here. I'm excited because really, you know, I'm all about helping players achieve their dreams and aspiration of making it to the next level. So uh, I'm extremely uh, humbled, like I said, at the opportunity and look forward uh, to being the head coach in uh, San Antonio. Right on. And, and and you mentioned it, but what was that like? Did did Dwayne reach out or, or, or? Yeah, it was it was it was it was kind of crazy because uh, I get a phone. I'm looking at my phone. It's kind of uh, I, was like, I don't recognize the number. It just happens to be Danny Garcia. <laughs> you know, they like, we're interested in, in you being one of the coaches of the XFL, and uh, I just thought, wow, you know, just you know, for what she's done, uh, marketing wise with the with Dwayne Johnson. And, and what you know, uh, DJ's done for himself, uh, social media-wise, man. I just thought for me, uh, I get that opportunity. It was a, a dream come true. You know, every coach I think want to uh, have that opportunity to sit in the chair and, and, and be a head coach. Uh, and for me, I, it was something that I've always wanted to do. I didn't think it would ever happen. So now I get the opportunity. I've been blessed to play in the city of Pittsburgh for 14 years. Uh, have two amazing coaches and coach Bill Cower and, and Mike Tomlin and so I've seen what success looks like you know so and being a part of a great organization like the Pittsburgh Steelers I want to carry some of the same things that I learned growing up as a player and then hopefully you know uh, I can follow in the footsteps of coach Cower and coach Tomlin being great leader of men so um, I'm excited about the opportunity. I look forward to it, and uh, I can't wait to get down to San Antonio. Right on, and, and you mentioned the Steelers there. So what is it like seeing Rod Woodson? Uh, <laughs> you know, it, it, it's like bittersweet with Rod, because of course, you know, we, we wore the same uniform, the black and gold, but at the same time, uh, when we line up against each other, we're very competitive. Last night, I think, uh, at the announcement and backstage, him and I were playing tic-tac-toe, and no one won. We wanted to beat each other so bad. So, um, but all the coaches, we're all competitive, but we're, we're great friends. Um, so, uh, at the end of the day, I think each organization want to win the championship, and that's really what it's about. Um, great coaches. It's gonna be, it's gonna be very competitive, uh, you know. But if I can beat Rob Woodson, that'll be a plus. And one last one on the Steelers for you. Um, have you thought about what Sundays are gonna be like? Not seeing Ben Roethlisberger under under center, and, and what uh, what do you think about? The uh, it'll, it'll be it's, it's definitely a change, you know. Not having when you when you have a quarterback who's been there for 18, 20 years, uh, you know, you kind of get spoiled a little bit. But uh, the Steelers do fine. They always do great in the draft about reloading talent and stuff. Uh, Kenny Pickett and those guys, uh, Mitch Trubisky, they'll go out and do what I got to do to put the team in the right position. Uh, the good thing about the Steelers, we always believe in the draft. Um, uh, every year, year in and year out, it seems like they just keep reloading. We're, we're great talent, and the Steelers will be fine. I'm not worried about the Steelers. They, right. They'll be good. And last one for you, how does it feel? I mean, you're always mentioned as one of the best blocking wide receivers of all time. Yes. How does it feel to just have that legacy? Uh, you know, sometimes it's, it's good, sometimes it's bad, because I, I, I've caught a lot of balls as well. Of course, of course. <laughs> uh, but for me, it was just about being the complete wide receiver. I just... I didn't get enamored with stats. I just wanted to win. And I think that's something when you mention the Pittsburgh Steelers and, and especially during the 2000s, that was something that we did consistently. We won big games, we won Super Bowls, and I'm just, I was blessed to be a part of a great organization, played with some great players. Really appreciate that. Thank, Thank you, Dan.